Welcome everyone to Technology Made Basic. In today's video we are going to show you how to disable some of the tracking features within uh, Windows 10. Um, as you guys know Windows 10 can be a bit intrusive and uh, collects a lot of your data, sends it back to some of the Microsoft owned servers. So we're going to show you how to disable some of the features that come uh, turned on by default on Windows 10 and how to minimize that in uh, intrusiveness. So basically what we're going to do first is disable Cortana. So we're going to do that by doing a left click down here in the search. Let's go ahead and do a left click. When the menu comes up, uh, let's click on the sprocket over here on the left hand side on the settings. Uh, if you signed in or set up your Windows 10 uh, operating system with a Microsoft account with an e Microsoft email basically, uh, Cortana usually comes already enabled by default. I, I set up mine using a local admin account so I did not sign in with a Microsoft account. If you did that you may already see it turned off but if you have it on just go ahead and simply slide this over to the left and you're gonna and then it's just gonna turn Cortana off. Something else that we want to disable here is the device search history and the search online and include web results down here on the bottom. Let's go ahead and slide these over to the left. Basically we just don't want uh, Bing to give us any suggestions based on any past search history that we've done uh, or using our location. So once we have everything turned off here, we're going to go ahead and now go to the settings. Uh, we're going to do that by doing a left click on the start menu and go ahead and do another left click on settings. Once these, once these uh, settings options come up, let's go ahead and choose the privacy options right here on this little padlock. Do a left click. That's going to take us to our general options within the uh, change privacy options. Here we want to go ahead and disable most of this. Um, we want to start off by disabling this first feature where it lets uh, apps use my advertising ID for experiences across apps. Uh, so basically it's a customer experience uh, service offered by Microsoft to where it kind of caters the ads on different websites to the stuff that you've been searching. Um, you know, kind of keeps track of what you've been doing basically. So we're going to go ahead and turn this off. And once we have this off, we're also going to go ahead and opt out of the advertising program uh, with Microsoft. So to do that, I think I have the URL saved here. Yes, I do. Let's go ahead and copy this. I'm going to go ahead and open Microsoft Edge. I'm going to paste this into the address bar here. And the URL for this opt out uh, of the advertising is choice dot microsoft.com and I'll include all these URLs in the bottom description on uh, below the chat below the video so once you go to that page what we simply want to do is turn this off we don't want personalized ads in the browser every time we do a search or every time we're just navigating the internet in general so let's go ahead and slide this over turn this off and that's it so once this is off let's go ahead and close our browser and so now we've uh, turned off that advertising feature that comes enabled. Something else that we want to disable is the uh, keylogger feature. Basically to where it kind of uh, sends your keystrokes back and uh, tracks what you're typing and uh, the things that you're searching online. So let's go ahead and slide this to off also. Uh, because basically this what it does. It sends uh, Microsoft info about how I write uh, to help us improve typing and writing in the future. So I don't want that. Um, also, what I want to disable is to let websites provide locally relevant content by accessing my language list. Uh, let's go ahead and set that to off. So I want to set these three to off. I left the smart screen filter on only because it does help a little bit with the, uh, with the phishing, um, you know, malware protection. So what I would recommend is just to turn these three off here. Now let's go to location. Um, what we want to do, we don't want it to track our location or, you know, uh, basically track anything cut here and what we're going to do now is click on the location and uh, what we're going to do is turn our location off so we when location services for this account are on apps and services you allow can request location and location history so we don't want that on let's go ahead and simply turn that off now we're going to do a left click over camera uh, let apps use my camera we'll turn that off now keep in mind uh, some of the apps that you download through the Microsoft Store or you know different applications that you may have uh, on your computer installed a different way. This could actually hinder 
the features on that app a lot. Uh, so just keep in mind where you disable this in case you want to go ahead and re-enable this in the future. Uh, let's go to microphone. Let's turn this off and that just is going to disable the, uh, the apps from using the microphone. Go to speech, uh, inking, and typing. And we're going to Basically what this is, is uh, getting to know you. Windows and Cortana can get to know your voice and writing to make better suggestions for you. Uh, we collect info like contacts, recent calendar events, speech and handwriting patterns, and typing history. I don't want that, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Stop Getting to Know Me and click on Turn Off. And this will turn off, just like it says here, the uh, dictation and Cortana will clear info on your device that Windows uses to make better suggestions for you. I don't want Windows to suggest anything for me, so turn it off. Um, so once we get that information off, we're going to go to account info. And this basically lets apps access my name, picture, and other account info. Let's turn that off. And the last thing we're going to disable here is we're going to go down to feedback and diagnostics. And we're not necessarily going to disable this. What we're going to do is just set it to basic mode. Uh, you got three options here. If you click the uh, drop down menu, you have basic, enhanced, and full recommended. What it's set to by default is full recommended. And let's go to learn more about feedback and di diagnostic settings to go to the Microsoft site to get some more information. And let's see, the option I want, I believe, is this one here. What do the different diagnostic and usage data options mean? Uh, and basically, this gives you a rundown of, of you know, the different settings that you can uh, set it to. And what it's set to by default is to include all, you know, both the basic enhance and, and other features. Uh, so let's just read some of this. Uh, for example, the enhance. This data includes how frequently or how long you use certain uh, features or apps, which apps and features you use most often, how often you use Windows, help and support, and which services you use to sign into apps. So basically, it's just collecting a lot of data from your computer. Um, and even if we do set it to basic, it's still doing quite a bit. It's collecting configuration data, including the manufacturer of your device, model, number of processors, display size and resolution, date, region, so on and so forth. The software, including drivers and firmware supplied by device manufacturers installed on the device, performance and re reliability data, network and connection data, including such as the device's IP address, number of network connections in use, and the data about the network you connect to, and other hardware devices connected to the device. So even something that you connect to your computer, it can collect data about. So, um, But we're going to go ahead and set it to the basic mode since it doesn't actually allow us to turn it off. So we're going to go to basic. And um, that's some of the settings that we're going to change under privacy. Uh, so now that we've gone through that, let's go ahead and click the back arrow to go to the main settings. And in here, we want to go to Update and Security. So go ahead and do a left click there. And what we're going to change here is if we go down to Advanced Options, down here towards the bottom of the page, like that. And then from here, click on Choose uh, How Updates Are Delivered. So click here. And basically, it says Updates from um, More Than One Place. Download Windows Updates and Apps from other PCs in addition to Microsoft. This can help speed up the app and update downloads. We want to disable this. Let's go to learn more so we can go to the Microsoft site to get more information. And let's see what we want is how it works. Here it is. And basically, just to give a quick rundown on how this works, uh, when Windows downloads an update or app, it will look for other PCs on your local network that have already downloaded the update or app using delivery optimization. Windows then downloads parts of the file from those PCs and from parts of the and parts of the file from Microsoft. Basically, to kind of alleviate some of the bandwidth uh, in your home, uh, it's using a computer that already has that update uh, included with some of the information from the Microsoft servers to get you the update that your computer needs. So it's kind of you know pulling data from from one computer, but and that's on your local network, meaning uh, computers within within the realm of your usually home or business. Uh, but what it can also do, uh, it can also get information from PCs on your local network and PCs on the internet. So uh, what it does is Windows uses the same process as when getting updates and apps from PCs on your local network and also looks for PCs on the internet 
that can be used as a source to download parts of the updates and apps and apps. So basically, it's kind of scary because it's actually getting information from somebody's computer that's connected to the internet that also has Windows 10, that has the app that your computer is searching or has the update that your computer is searching for, and grabs that information from that person's computer uh, in order to get your computer updated. So um, we're going to go ahead and turn this feature off here. So if you want to read more about that, go ahead and, and you know follow that uh, link, and that's just going to be right here. Learn more. So we're just going to slide this over to the left, turn that off. And let's go back to the main settings. Uh, so basically, we went over some of the uh, features you can disable under the privacy and update and security. Uh, something else we can do is go to the uh, browser. Let's open our Microsoft Edge. And if we click on More, on the top right here, these three little dots, it brings down the drop-down menu. Let's go ahead and click on Settings. And here's uh, where you can you can delete your search history, um, just in case uh, you know you have something on there that you just want to get rid of. You can go ahead and click right here to choose what to clear. Click on this uh, Show More, and you can uh, check all the boxes to clear everything. Um, something else we can do is if we scroll down to Advanced Settings, we can click on the Ad View, View Advanced Settings, and here we can turn off other features. Um, like save form entries, offer to save passwords, so let's disable that feature. Uh, I would recommend to probably just, you know, to not save passwords because you never know when somebody could use your computer, you never know when somebody, you know, it's just easier for somebody to get a hold of your password if you are if you have it saved. Um, you know, for example, if you're uh, logging into your email and as soon as you type in your, your username or your email address, it automatically populates your password. I would not recommend going with that route, and I would recommend to just go ahead and turn these features off. Uh, something else you can do is turn off this where it says show show uh, search and site suggestions as I type. Um, you can also you know disable a lot of different features under here. So that's going to be under the advanced settings, uh, under the settings with uh, Microsoft Edge. So that's it for now. Uh, what we're going to do in our second part of this video is we're going to go into a little bit more advanced uh, features on disabling uh, different tracking you know features within Windows 10. And we're also going to use uh, third-party software to uh, disable a lot of the stuff that comes with uh, with Windows 10 to make it a little bit more intrusive. Uh, but that is for is that is it for now. Again, I do appreciate everyone's time, and thank you for watching.